Okay, so first portion what we will see once we connect to uh, an Informatica uh, client tool. Okay, so what we said we will see a username and a password right there. So that is what we use to connect to this. Uh, so then, then go to your tools. Uh, there you will see all the five sub tools what we saw as part of our designer. Okay, uh, we'll need to go to the source analyzer here. Okay, mm. probably I'll just clear it off all this from your workspace. Okay, the first step what you will do is uh, you will. See in Informatica one thing you should be a bit clear wherever you are clicking the mouse uh, the menu keeps changing accordingly there. Okay. If you are in your targets you will see that the target the overall menu has changed to targets. Okay. After your versioning you will see target there. Uh, if you are in source uh, you will see that the menu has been changed to sources here. Uh, if you go to transformations developer, you will see something called transformations. Uh, similarly, like your maplets, you will see maplets menu and in mappings, you will see mappings menu. Okay. Uh, so based on your location where you are exactly, the menu also keeps changing there. Okay. So first point is to that what you should note that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second thing is uh, coming on to source analyzer as, as part of first step, what we will be doing is we will be importing the source definitions here. Okay, in Informatica we all talk about definition here. That's all, but not actually the structure because the structure is something which will be residing either on your source or in your target. Okay, it's only the definitions what we will be importing in this Informatica environment. Okay, so first thing what you need to do is go to the source. Okay, uh, if if you are using a database uh, you will get an option import from database if you want to do it from a flat file import from flat file and and various other things also you will get here uh, ideally it will give you an option also to create a source here uh, but the recommended thing is you always create the source uh, I mean you always create both the source and target uh, in that from that respective place you in Informatica. Okay. Uh, so we will see now first how to import it from a database here. Okay. Uh, so first go to import from database and select this. So what we said any source and target uh, will will always go with an ODBC drivers here. We are still right. seeing some disturbance. I don't know whose phone is that, but some disturbance. Uh, guys, can you all please go on mute? Whoever is not speaking out. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so select the respective ODBC drivers. Uh, if you don't find your ODBC drivers in this list, uh, you can go ahead and add them. Uh, you can add them here in this particular ODBC source. Where do you find this? You will be finding this in uh, in your control panel admin tool ODBC sources here. Okay. Uh, you can go ahead and specify add and select appropriate ODBC driver. Suppose if you are using Oracle, you will have something for uh, Oracle like this. Okay. Uh, if it is a 10G database and also, so use appropriate ODBC drivers for this and just say finish. You can even test your connection there. Uh, if you already have an ODBC driver, it will show you in the list like this here. Okay. Uh, specify appropriate, uh, uh, what you call username and password here. Uh, suppose you can take HR which is a schema which is there here. You can use HR, HR. Mm. The account is locked. Okay. Uh, probably you need to unlock this account. Uh, Char, later you can do this if yeah, it's not. Yeah, because he gave me only one, the Scott one. Uh, okay. How about BI? BI is also locked, is it? Yeah, he gave me only the Scott one. I don't know because uh, the installation he the the late night so he gave the notepad to for me. Hmm. What is the system password? He gave me three: system manager, Scott Tiger, and info info. Yeah, I think system manager worked out there. Okay.
One second, guys. I just want to make it pretty simple here. Huh? Perfect. Okay. So select your appropriate database uh, and then password for that. Okay. Uh, and and then select your objects. Suppose if you are giving a, a schema uh, related to that, you will see when you select default, you will see only the objects lists in that. Okay. If you want to see all objects where that user has privileges, you can select all in that scenario. You will see all the tables or all the users which are there in that particular database. Okay. Uh, so it will give you the entire database thing here. Okay, uh, BA does not have uh, all all the objects here. Uh, we will select HR schema there. Okay, uh, we'll say default. Then this does not have tables, is it? Yes, uh, these are the uh, these particular accounts. Whatever you see here, right? BI, HR, and all. All these are by default, uh, it comes with your Oracle database installation. So just go ahead and do an account unlock in this way. And, and, and I don't know what will be their initial passwords, but what I just made ahead and went it into the same thing there. Okay. Uh, so you can, you can do that even if it is not working for you guys there. Mm. Uh, then select this. Okay, so you will be you. Okay, HR has some tables. We will take these tables. Uh, select <coughs> whatever tables you want to import. Select those tables. You can either give at one shot, or you can select one by one. You just press Control and keep selecting multiple things. Uh, that is how you can do, or you can do uh, one after another. Is what you can select that. Okay. Uh, once you select the table, just say okay. Uh, as soon as you specify OK, uh, you will see that the object is been, uh, this entire structure is been imported here. Okay. Uh, now you can double click on this and go to the column properties. So there here it will tell you which is the, who is the owner of the schema and what type of database it is. Okay. Uh, in the columns, uh, what is this uh, column, what is the data type, precision, scale, nullable, all, all this database, from the database itself it will start taking the properties here. Uh, one thing what we need to know here is... Sorry yeah. to bother you, um, just as you were doing, I try to connect to my uh, instance and when I try to connect to info repository, it says unable mm -hmm. to get license information. Uh, then your then your license is is not been installed properly. Get a reinstallation done or something. I think the license need the file whatever he has given you. I don't know whether it, uh, it is not been uh, implemented correctly or or if it is an issue there. Okay, so one thing in Informatica what you need to see is uh, suppose if at all there are any changes in your source. Okay, uh, the definition will not get automatically changed in your Informatica repository here. Okay, uh, So manually you should come back here, edit this particular thing in your source analyzer and make the required changes. The source, I mean the changes what I am talking is like adding, getting adding it a new column in your table Okay, or, or any precision and scale uh, changes whatever you see in some particular column. All those are some of the changes which can uh, generally happen there. Okay, so this is how you import it from uh, your source uh, if it is a relational database. Okay, uh, suppose if your source is coming from a flat file, uh, you need to get on to this second option which talks about saying import from a file here. Okay, <coughs> so select import from file here, uh, then you need to specify where your data file is. Okay. Uh, you should be having some sample files in your Informatica environment. Uh, let's let's go to your Informatica environment. One second, guys. Uh,
just save this here probably I think that should be fine will this sample purpose right so so if it is coming from a source uh, just select the source file okay mm. select select the appropriate file extension it will support all all uh, uh, like that xls csv uh, text all it will support here okay uh, so this is the standard import wizard what you will get even if you use an excel if you try to in in microsoft uh, this is something correlated with that uh, so similar file import menu will come so specify uh, whether it is a delimited file or a fixed width file okay so your files <coughs> your files will be either as part of a delimited or a fixed width okay uh, then you can if you if you know your file has an a header name uh, just just give that import field names from the first line uh, so that will take as your header okay whatever are there as in your first line uh, that will take as your header here okay uh, say this is a delimited file <coughs> then header is there uh, then specify what type of delimiter it is okay whether it is a tab whether it is a comma if it is a semicolon or or, or others anything space all all is what you need to specify here okay uh, then if it is having any single quotes or how your text all those things is what it will ask you select appropriately you can see the sample in the below here text uh, just ensure it is a valid structure first of all okay uh, then it has given the it has taken the uh, field names here uh, from the first line so just ensure the precision scale and all is been set right here okay uh, if anything you can change there here once you are done, uh, just say finish, so that the definition of that will be imported onto your source here, okay? And just say Control S, it will save it into your uh, sources here. Okay, in in your sources, once you go to your sources, you will see that uh, you have a flat file definition, and and coming back to Oracle, you have your employees who what we what we brought here right so this is also been there here so you will see as a separate subfolders in your sources here okay uh, this is how you import from your source uh, either from a database or a flat file if you have any other extensions also uh, similarly you will be doing it further uh, if you want to view a sample data how your file is having just right click that and say preview data <coughs> okay uh, so that will that will give you a uh, view how it will take suppose if it is a flat file you just need to uh, re-link that to that or if it is a table also uh, you can connect to that uh, particular uh, thing I think this is HR only right hmm. and then you will see the data of in that particular object how it looks like okay uh, based on that also you can see here okay any questions on this so far importing your source uh, definition one question how the data types can be mapped uh, example I mean when you have a file created from a uh, application right and put mm -hmm. it in a server if you want to use mm -hmm. that file as a source right so I mean basically I don't know what kind of data types right so probably uh, in the in the wizard, I see a number, uh, date, time, and the string. I see only those three different types. Okay. So so would that uh, suffice for any data types that are being created by the source source application? At files, uh, I think yes. So once you come back here, you will see lot of other things also: string, number, and string, init, double, date, binary integer. So so, all, all so these we can data types we can change the data types according to yeah, yeah, yeah. if you feel if you feel that is not the appropriate either during creation you can do that or once you come back to this source uh, you can go to this data type and re again change the precision scale all those things here okay uh, creating a target is as normal as one uh, it will ask you what type of target you want to create uh, but it will give you all types of things uh, only suggested thing is do not create targets from Informatica because the underlying constraints or uh, uh, things will not get implemented properly in the database okay uh, flat files yes you can go ahead and create it not a issue 
but but not the database objects here okay <clears throat> go back to the database use your create or create table or create view whatever it is create the structure there and import that that is what is recommended here okay uh, so select a flat file here uh, uh, just say my tgt file okay uh, and specify create okay once you say create it will uh, it will come ahead and bring a blank thing here okay uh, you can either specify whether you want to do a fixed width or a delimiter uh, you can go to the advanced option and select the delimiters and all those things uh, by default it will be a csv uh, comma delimiter here uh, go to the columns add appropriate columns whatever you want with all your data types here okay uh, so select all all columns whatever you want uh, you can change the data types precision scale and all and say apply here once you say apply and save uh, control s save uh, in your targets you will see that as your target here okay uh, so that is how you can create your own files also when you execute this uh, where you will see this basically you will be seeing this in uh, uh, in infra shared whatever we saw there right infra shared uh, in the folder called tgt uh, target files is where you will see this target files getting written there okay uh, so that is the place where it will go ahead and store the target files once you execute the job okay